Hi everyone and welcome back to another watercolour. Okay, so it's going to be a snow scene. The place is Vermont in the USA. Um, I used a reference photo for this one and I decided to do it in a pencil and wash. Now what attracted me to this scene was, um, well you'll see when the, the watercolour actually goes on, um, it's got a really lovely sunlit background to it and the foreground snow is very blue and almost in shade and it made for a really lovely contrast between the foreground and the background. Now this demonstration is only 10 minutes long you know on this YouTube video um, but over on my Patreon page you'll see the full lesson, the full drawing and the painting all in real time and I think there's five videos um, to accompany this one video here um, on YouTube. So basically you see the whole thing from start to finish and um, real time narration, no voiceovers, no sped up videos or anything like that. Um, so there's a full lesson there for you if you wanted to draw and paint along with this one and I'll leave links to Patreon in the end screen cards and in the description below as always. Okay so the name Pencil and Wash. Okay, somebody asked me, is pencil and wash the same as watercolour over graphite? Um, I've never heard it called that before. I mean, I've only heard it called pencil and wash. Um, that was well documented in a lot of the Owen Crawshaw books. Um, that's where I learned this technique over 30 years ago um, from Owen Crawshaw. Um, I've never heard it called... Um, watercolour over graphite um, but it I guess it's the same thing it sounds the same thing um, it doesn't really matter what you call it really does it as long as you just do it I guess um, so I mean I always refer to my you know pencil and wash videos as a pencil and wash and never graphite over watercolour although it's like I say I guess it's the same thing um, it, I mean it gets very confusing doesn't it because you could say well isn't this line and wash you know I mean you're drawing a pencil line and you're painting it in so isn't it line and wash well yes and no I mean <laughs> it's like I say it gets confusing because um, you know line and wash is more associated with pen and wash or ink and wash again to other terms um, you know I mean there's a big difference a big step up from just doing a line drawing to um, a, you know a full-on drawing and then going over it with watercolor so it's a whole lot more than just a line and wash I mean, I don't make these names up, <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're common um, terms that people use to describe certain techniques for drawing and painting. Um, I'm only using, you know, the words that I've read in books um, and those words were pencil and wash. I mean, I haven't read anywhere that this technique is called um, watercolour over graphite. I, I don't know if that's an American thing, um, but certainly in England, um, we call it pencil and wash. When I came onto YouTube, oh, what, five years ago, something like that, there was only one other guy on YouTube doing this, and that was Richard Thorne. Um, I think his, still, his videos are still on YouTube, um, and I was the second person to do this. But originally, the first person that I ever saw to do this technique, like I say, was Olwyn Crawshaw. Um, and he was the guy that actually started me painting all those years ago. So that was the first time that I ever heard the, the phrase pencil and wash and uh, I've stuck with it ever since. Okay, so I hope that answers your question there. Um, it's like I say, the terminology can be confusing, but pencil and wash, watercolour over graphite, to me it is the same thing, I guess, anyway. Right, anyway, so onto the painting, and like I said, it's, um, it's a really nice snow scene set in Vermont, and you can see now the warm colours going in there, in the background. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm using Cotman watercolours for this. Uh, the only colour on the palette there that isn't a Cotman colour is the Cobalt Blue, I believe. Um, apart from that, all the others are Cotman watercolours. And you can see, you know, that background slowly building up there with the nice warm colours. Um, and in just a little while, you'll see, you know, a big sort of blue foreground appear, um, <laughs> which is like one big glaze of blue over the entire foreground bit worried about doing that, thought it might wreck the painting, um, but it turned out okay actually and you'll see that at the end. I mean it's not the best painting I've ever done but I was very pleased with it. I think it, um, it worked okay. 
Now if you like the look of this style of painting, this pencil and wash technique, um, there's lots of other videos, um, landscape painting videos and all sorts over on my Patreon channel. Um, or if you're just into drawing and you're not too worried about watercolour, um, you, you probably won't be watching this video so I don't know why, why I'm talking about it. But there's um, loads of other drawing demonstrations as well um, over on my Patreon channel. There's, I think there's something like three, two, three hundred videos um, or real-time demonstrations of graphite drawing projects and watercolour projects, pencil and wash, lots of mixed media um, paintings as well. So if you're interested in learning to paint and draw, like I said, there'll be a link in the description below and in the end screen cards um, so you can get straight onto Patreon there. It's only $4 a month. That's all it costs to access everything. I know it's a bargain, isn't it? Um, I mean, $4 is nothing a month. You know, when you when you break it down, it's what, a dollar a week for all of those videos? It's crazy, isn't it? But that's all I'm charging. That's all I'm asking to, um, to join Patreon there. Just $4 a month for all of that content and um, you can mix with like-minded people there over on the community section great bunch of people over there all making friends really supportive uh, amazing people over there all posting their artwork um, so you'll get access to all of that as well and you can post your artwork there as well uh, for everybody to look at and comment on so yeah it'd be great to see you over there okay so what i'll do now i'll um, play some music in the background and just let you watch the rest of the video in peace. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and take care everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.